Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. I'm gonna first start today with the channel message that I've received for the collective and then we're gonna get into the cards and we're gonna see what's coming through. So what's interesting is when I was meditating, um, you know, I felt Kalima's energy around me and I kept seeing her face. So I feel this message is more geared towards her coming through with this message so I'm going to share her channel message and then we're going to get into the cards. And as always, with the readings, take the parts that resonate with you and let the rest go. So this is the channel message, okay? What I got was you're coming out of tests, trials and tribulations. Then I got the message that darkness wants to test you again and again, okay? And when I asked why does darkness want to test you again and again, the answer that I received was because you refuse to back down, because you refuse to give up, because you are a spiritual warrior. Uh, that's why darkness wants to test you again and again. And you may be someone who is fed up or you may be someone who's like tired of this uh you know energetic attacks and um so just know that kalima is a fierce protector and kalima is helping you on your journey and you are not alone even if you feel vulnerable or if you feel you know these heavy energies trying to get you down or something like that what i'm getting is keep your eyes on the prize okay that's the message i got from kalima is uh, she showed me like a tunnel and it's like stay focused on the light keep going stay focused and you know keep your eye on the prize with that i got focus on your goals focus on your dreams focus on your vision don't allow the negativity to get to you okay uh, it almost felt like you know the final test the final exam before the graduation or something like that um but whoever whoever this message is for and if this is resonating with you it's like you feel you're being tested again and again and again and again and when is this gonna stop okay and the reason this you go through so many trials is because you are that soul you are that resilient okay um, then I, I wrote down, you, you can call upon Kalima to transmute any negativity, to transmute any lower energies, any lower frequencies. And uh, then I got this message that you have done this many times before in many other lifetimes, okay? So your body, your energy is capable enough of transmuting any energy. So don't, if you're watching my video and you're like, but I don't know what to do and go within your soul go within your heart your heart already knows your soul knows what it has to do because you've done this many times in other lifetimes and even if you don't have the complete recollection of how is it gonna just trust that your soul knows just trust and allow your soul to do its thing okay and then kalima showed me your heart and your heart is like you know it's like a portal and all this light that's shining through your heart okay and the message that I received was, let your light shine. Let your heart chakra shine, okay? Uh, I almost got the message that darkness has lost its power. Darkness knows that it's a losing game, okay? It just tries to create these illusions where you may feel you're still trapped. You may feel you're still being attacked. And I'm not saying you may not, maybe, you know, you, it is happening for you. But the thing is that it loses its power the minute you remember your power, the minute you remember your divine inheritance, you remember your connection to spirit. That's when it loses its power. So it's almost like a test you know, it, it wants to test you, but what the message that I got was Kalima is with you. She is walking this path with you. You are not alone and she is supporting you. Many of you may feel guided to her or may already be connecting with her. That's why, uh, like I saw her in my mind's eye and her message was coming in so strongly. Uh, so now we're going to get into um, the tarot 
and then I'm gonna pull some other cards. I'm just gonna move some things around here and just let's get into this. Okay, so we already have these cards falling through, okay? Three cards that have already fallen through. Okay, and fourth card, and there we go. Okay, I'm gonna just pause here. We have five cards here already. Start Starting with the five of wands the Six of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and Judgment. We have Judgment with the Queen of Wands. Okay, so just give me a second. What am I getting? What what energy am I getting intuitively here? Okay. Okay. First of all, you are you are very quick at you know knowing which energy is for you and which energy is not for you okay uh, anyone that is bringing chaotic energy to the table anyone that is bringing conflict to you uh competition uh jealousy one up thing it's almost like i want to say you're allergic to it <laughs> that's that came to mind but you you know you're literally it's like an allergy you're you're literally uh moving away from anything any kind of distraction any kind of energy that gets you off your kilter and with this queen of cups here it's like it it took a long it took a long time to build yourself up it took a long time to get to this place of emotional balance emotional fulfillment really understanding yourself healing yourself okay the queen of cups is also very healing and very nurturing and loving and you know you are very loving and why would somebody want to bring these kind of energies but you know i feel that there could be energies okay i'm gonna say what i'm seeing here okay there could be energies that are just triggered by the fact that you are this loving light they are triggered by this fact that you are an empath they are triggered by this fact that you know you are expressing your emotions or you are just basically being yourself but that has nothing to do with like you know th there are energies i'm seeing this at the bottom of the deck and i can't help but notice it's a ten of wands i mean see sometimes you can only help so much okay and people have to do their own inner work we just like you did your own inner work you went through your own inner journey so you know there there's a boundary there's a line and i'm all about helping and being compassionate but then you know there comes a point where if if these energies are siphoning your energy then that is not right and this is what i'm getting is you've been in situations where either you've given too much or you've been in situations where the people that you were trying to help got into competition with you got into you know trying to one-up you or prove something to you and you're not about that you you will just you will just take make a left turn go in a different direction and you know because you want to be in this peaceful energy with the judgment here it's almost like spirit is spirit is calling judgment on a lot of situations this is this feels like karma to me and i hate saying it like that but it's like whatever we give out comes back to us and a lot of people may feel like you are the reason that they are feeling karma i, I don't know why i'm getting that like you are the reason that they are feeling like this but what they don't do not understand is it's almost it's the divine okay it's the divine that is at play here it, it is almost like karmic justice universal laws that are at play here okay now for some there could be another feminine energy that is jealous of your energy i don't know why i'm getting that when i'm seeing these cards uh like she could be trying to low-key compete with you or try to prove you something but again, I'm seeing that you, you are someone who's very quick at recognizing energies that are not for you. 
you are someone who's very quick at if someone even throws you jealous energies at a distance you are very quick at recognizing that okay because uh, you you have a very high uh, empathy you you are highly sensitive to energies that are not for you i feel that a lot of things are changing for you especially when it comes to connections um being in city like you just don't want i'm hearing you just don't want to waste your time is what i'm hearing you don't want to waste your time in situations that are not for you i feel like you have been in these kind of situations you have in the past given to people that that brought a lot of chaos and confusion in your life but you you're not about this anymore you're definitely not about this okay and i feel people could be salty of the fact that you do recognize you do understand that you are you are that highly emotionally mature yeah and these people feel very left out this card fell down it's the five of pentacles so it's almost like i'm seeing this eye here it's like there could be there could be people that are watching your every move or watching how you live your life or what you do i'm not exactly sure who these people are but they in some way they could be connected but they're watching you they're watching your moves for sure and um it's just that they see you in a very balanced energy and they themselves are not there and they they think that they're not there because of you but it's not like that they're not there in that energy it it and it has to do with themselves it has to do with their own energy and it's almost like spirit you see this trumpet it's like spirit is telling them it's is giving them a wake up call is telling them wake up uh, see your own ways but it, it's almost like i don't know either they don't want to take ownership or they feel like blaming you is going to make their situation better i know this is this is so silly it doesn't even make sense to me like you know we we all have to take ownership of our own part right ownership of our own journey yeah it's like i don't know with the five of cups five of cups and the five of pentacles you could be seeing five 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 see I, i'm just gonna say it straight out what i see okay what i'm getting is these people are just unhappy with their own lives so, uh someone could have a you know like a not not good relationship with their own mother that's another thing i'm getting and it's like they're they're reflecting their mother wounds onto you see the the people that are sending this bad energy or conflict or whatever it's because they are conflicted with themselves that's that's really the bottom line <coughs> excuse me and you know someone doesn't want me to talk about this but it's really their own their own issues and it's got to do with their own low self esteem that's what i'm getting and you know everyone struggles with low self esteem i struggled at one point but you know the thing is we always have to work on ourselves uh i can't expect my neighbor to do my inner work right you we all have to do our own inner work Okay, the other message I'm getting is spirit is taking you away. It 
you know you may find that certain doors are closing for you certain connections are going away for from your life or you may find that certain jobs are not working for you that's because anything that leaves you in this five of cups energy or five of pentacles it's being cleared out of your life if you are a masculine and you're watching okay i'm i'm picking on a masculine who who is interested in two women and obviously this message is not going to be for everyone because most of my viewers are feminine but i'm picking on a masculine who is interested in two women okay but this is going to leave you feeling very i don't know how to say this in a poverty consciousness okay because both these women are not it's like whoever you are you want healing from these two women you want them to heal you in some way whether through physical intimacy or through emotional connection but none of them are uh it's like none of them can do that for you none of them can fulfill you in the ways that you want and you may actually feel more abandoned and more rejected by by involving both of them i hope this makes sense because this is a very clear message i'm getting but this message is for a masculine and it's not going to be for everyone some of you you know i, I don't know you grew up in a home where i don't know the mother figure was not the mother figure was not a good uh, was not a solid figure for you okay the mother figure i don't know I, I keep seeing this image look at look at her the way she's pointing at him and i don't know it's almost like made you feel responsible for everything blamed you for everything was very critical was very judgmental uh just never saying anything positive to you uh if you had other siblings you could have been compared to those siblings or there could have been silent competitions or something like that but what i'm seeing here is even though you grew up with all this you you are you are very empathic okay you're very loving and like it did it did hurt your heart it did hurt your soul but you're still standing strong in spite of all this that you experience and i'm seeing a lot of childhood issues here with these cards okay so this is something to do with childhood where you felt abandoned or you felt rejected because of a mother figure i'm also seeing a lot of people confused as to i mean i i'm i'm getting that some people want to come to you but it's almost like how do we come to you how how do we how do we talk to you how how do we come to you or how do we propose something like with the page of pentacles at the bottom it's like how do we present what we want to present because because they know that you are not someone who's going to entertain any of these energies you're not someone who's going to entertain anything less than you what you deserve you you're showing up as the queen of cups and the queen of wands energy together yes you are very this is also a very psychic card okay the queen of cups is very intuitive uh and the queen of wands like you're very fiery you're go getter you 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 know you're standing strong but you're also very intuitive you're very this gives me like a ancient mystic kind of vibe very intuitive you're into divination and you can you know i don't know you could maybe read coffee cup i don't know why i got that but i'm getting astrology is another thing i'm getting but what i'm getting is all all these other energies around you it's like they they're just so chaotic they they're just they 
don't understand it's like how do you get how do you get into this energy and some of these energies may have wanted to steal from you i don't know why i'm getting that also it's almost like this eye is showing me that either they wanted to copy you be like you like it's almost like replicate your life but it's still bringing a lot of chaos, you know, and, and they don't understand, like, almost like, what's your secret sauce? You know, what's your secret sauce is what I'm getting. This is funny, but yeah, it's like, maybe someone wants your recipe, I don't know, but it's, it's like, what, what is your secret? How, how, can, how did you, and for those, you know, if you had like a chaotic past, if you had a chaotic I don't know if you had if you were in a chaotic marriage or if you had a chaotic past many people want to know how did you like or or you experienced trauma many people want to know how did you heal yourself from this trauma how did you heal from this dysfunction whether it was a marriage whether it was a dysfunctional childhood or whatever this like how were you able to heal from this to this like how is this how did what are the steps what did you do what what is the secret sauce yeah exactly what is your secret sauce okay maybe that's gonna be my title okay so i'm gonna pull more cards and i'm gonna see very interesting reading but there's something about the mother figure that's really coming through okay where you know this this mother figure played a part and it's like you're healing from this or you healed you already healed from this but it wasn't easy it wasn't easy yeah see solar plexus chakra and this is the magician awareness you healed yourself you are <clears throat> excuse me you are the magician of your own life uh, it's like you turned you turned the tables yourself you healed yourself you called your personal power back okay by moving on by moving on see it's like you what are you moving on from you're moving on from darkness you're moving on from chaos you're moving on from any kind of negativity i see you in that energy where you're like no negativity is welcome here i don't want no negativity okay I, I just want positivity. I want to focus on positivity. I want to bring more positivity into the world. And if you're bringing chaos, drama, confusion, lies, deception into my life, you're not welcome. The, the rules are very clear. I mean, and with these cards, with this card, it's almost like you have this clarity. You have this vision now. And you are creating this for yourself and going back to my channel message with Kalima it's like anyone bringing the darkness that you know that negativity you're you're just you're just not entertaining that you're just not allowing that you're moving on you're choosing wisely this is choose wisely I feel like you are choosing wisely you are doing this you are doing exactly this in this in this card this man is meditating here before he makes a decision before you make a decision you're going within you're asking your spirit guides you're asking your angels you're asking your spirit team what should i do you're not making any hasty decisions and look at this temptation at the bottom of so this is the devil okay this is the lower energies the dark energies they are triggered that you see there is a key here they are triggered by the fact that you have found your key you have found your light these are lower energies it's almost like this man is stuck in lower energies lower entities okay what i'm getting is in the past you were dealing with a lot of people who probably had entity attachments who probably had uh you know lower uh like lore beings working through them whether they were consciously aware of this or not but because of your higher awareness 
because you are calling your power back you took your personal back power back by healing yourself these energies are triggered and this is what i was channeling in kalima's message also they want to test you again and again <clears throat> sorry i keep losing my voice whenever i share these things it's like these energies don't want me to share right but i feel that whoever watches my channel you guys have a high awareness you guys do understand you guys do resonate with this message and yes spirit is guiding you and yes you do have the key that's why this darkness is triggered by it okay crown chakra crown chakra you are receiving downloads you are receiving accurate guidance from your spirit team no one can you know no one can really mess with that unless you allow them to mess with that remember no one can uh, no one can mess with your connection to the spirit unless you give them the power to do so so remember that and i i feel with these two cards you had to fight to get your power back you had to fight so many energies so many you, you may have literally fought demons to get back to who you are so remember who you are this is the card of remembering who you are and not going back to your old ways and not going back to this fear-based lower consciousness which the lower consciousness wants you to be stuck in there but no longer allowing that access remember you have the power and you it's up to you what you give access and allowance to and with that i'm going to end this reading i'm sending you many blessings thank you so much for being here i will see you soon